Good afternoon. I'm Amanda Moffitt, and you're watching MediaPlex Live at One. Windsor Fire and Rescue has been busy putting out two house fires that broke out in the downtown area. Windsor firefighters received a call at 6.15 this morning for a house fire on the 700 block of Windsor Avenue. Fire crews arrived to heavy smoke conditions coming from the house. Upon entering, firefighters realized the fire was coming from the basement and since then, crews battled the blaze from the exterior. According to Chief Fire Prevention Officer John Lee, nobody was home at the time of the fire. It has been confirmed both homeowners have been accounted for. I'm Miller Hill, reporting for Mediaplex News Now. Now we turn to our UK correspondent, Sean Preble, for the latest edition of The British Beat. First, we're going into the barge, which is housed in an 18th century building used for prisoners from the Napoleonic War and naval officers stationed in the dockyard. In the early 1900s, it became a pub called the Cricketers until 1991 when Tim Robinson bought the pub, renamed it the barge, and did extensive renovations. It now belongs to his daughter, Charlotte, who tried to keep the same atmosphere her father started. We like to keep it really bubbly behind the bar, a uh, good atmosphere, talk to the customers, not all dull and, you know, just be happy. Like, so when they come in, they see a happy face and they're like, loads of like, there's ice throwing, water fights, you know, just to keep it like that sort of like, I'm not staff, I'm not any higher, I'm not management. Doesn't matter what I am, I, I want to be your friend, I want to talk to you. My dad, um, he came up with this uh, little quote. There are no strangers here, only friends who have not yet met, which is a very true saying, because you do come in here as a stranger, but you do leave as a friend. Now I'm going to take a look here in the Ship Inn to see just what they have to offer people here in Gillingham. The Ship Inn is an old 14th century smuggler's inn with tunnels used by smugglers to get to and from the River Medway. It's now a family pub featuring a carvery, providing various meats to enjoy for lunch as well as the traditional bar on evenings to enjoy a pint. Owner Angie Parfit says she tried to create a place for everyone. It's a nice, warm, friendly atmosphere and, and so like people bring the children and they feel safe bringing the children in. In the summer we have barbecues and things, just to create somewhere nice where people want to come with their family. Now, as you can see, the pub scene here in the United Kingdom is very different from what we're used to back in Canada, or at least in some cases, in that it gives a more community or family atmosphere where people can feel okay to bring their kids in, get a pint to drink, and still also have a wonderful dinner or lunch at the same time. That's all for me now here in the United Kingdom. I'm Sean Preble for the Mediaplex British Beat. Back to the Mediaplex. It's cold, and many Canadians battle dry skin during the winter season. Hi, I'm Shelby Hernandez, and this is your Health Minute. Winter can be a rather fun season, but it does have its shortcomings. Aside from the bone-chilling temperatures and the slippery roads, there's a part of your body that really suffers, your skin. So, what are some easy ways to combat dry skin? Let's discuss. To start, don't take long hot showers. Sounds crazy, but hot water damages your skin drastically. So, when you do shower, keep it to 15 minutes and with lukewarm water. Second, get out some cold milk and a washcloth. What you want to do is soak the cloth in the cold milk. Once you've done that, put the cloth for five minutes on whatever parts of your body are driest. Then, clean it off gently so some of the lactic acid will stay on your skin. As strange as it may sound, the lactic acid in milk is said to exfoliate the skin and increase skin's ability to hold in moisture. Third, before going to bed, apply some petroleum jelly to the driest parts of your body. Although it's incredibly greasy, it provides a high level of moisture that just can't come from your everyday lotion. When you wake up, your skin will feel close to new, if not brand new. This last one will take some time to work, but it's simple. Eat more fish. The omega-3 fatty acids from fish are great for skin, so make sure to eat cold water fish like salmon and herring at least twice a week. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Shelby Hernandez, and this has been your Health Minute. Now on to weather. Tonight we will see a drop in temperature to minus 21 degrees with no flurries. Tomorrow will be mainly sunny again, but will only warm up to minus 15 degrees. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Amanda Moffitt, and you've been watching Mediaplex Live at One.